Guys, can you feel the energy? Can you feel the electricity? Can you feel the excitement? The buzz in this arena is absolutely nuclear. We are going to see some incredible action, some scores to be settled, and some people getting beat up real bad. And we're starting this card off with some fireworks. Let's do this. Throw all the rules out the window because it's time for things to get extreme. Making her way to the ring from Maryland, the WWE Women's Champion, the Queen. I know the title's not on the line, guys, but I don't think she can afford to give anything less than 100% here tonight. I don't think we'll see that from her here tonight, Cole. Title match or not, once the bell rings, she's nothing but business.
Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. You can feel the electricity Ouch. running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. A lot of times you see champs dial it back a bit when the title's not on the line. I don't expect to see that from her here. behind that one. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Oh, jeez. Take all the wind out of you. To the outside where she has all the time that she needs to do. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Real quick reminder, guys. There are no disqualifications and no count outs in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches makes me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. Oh, tear the features clean off your face. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. you Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match but what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this oh boo hoo cry me a river Saxton these competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession you gotta believe this one's over Got a problem. 
problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? Incoming. He's got him where he wants it from uh, the... Oh, destroy your face. We're looking at complete domination here. See if she can turn things around. The leg is. Oh man, she's rolling now. Got it. Michael, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. To the outside. There's all the time in the world to do what she needs to do. I think this is the beginning of the end. Harsh impact. Game, set, match. This one is over. I see where she's going with this. This could end it in a hurry. Beautiful technique. That should do it. Let's take another look at that. Michael, that was amazing. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. To the outside where she has all the time in the world to do what she needs to do. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match, where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. When she gets in attack mode, look out! She's taking on some heat, but I'd be surprised if she doesn't find a way back in control of this thing. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. This might just be what she needs to put her over the top. Frog splash! Give it five stars. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Executed perfectly. When a coach, she's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Showing some quickness there. Pulls the trigger. Boom, a knee strike. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Boom! <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. I'm told her photo galleries are responsible for a good portion of WWE's.com's huge traffic numbers last month. I've talked to several people who think she's bitten off more than she can chew here. I can't say that I... Look at this! She's got that gleam in her eyes. We know what's coming here. Nailed it. That's it. That's what she needed. This 
Superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. He's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. Catch your breath because the next match should be every bit as good. Match on the way. to the ring at a combined weight of 260 pounds the one Kieran Owen and Owen guys we have a big time tag team match coming up here a big time match with big time stakes Michael neither one of these superstars can afford a loss right now
Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. Oh, come on. How can this be legal? This could lead to a disqualification quick. one he's definitely starting to lose it here he forces his way free man he just has so much resolve oh guys there's the mat slam with some attitude In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the dip, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Six. Oh, boom. Oh, swept the leg right out from under. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it all again, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves, and the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Oh, he turns it around. Man, what a slam. What? Here he goes. Is he done? And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. <laughs> Comes in off the tag. One. 
He wants no part of the outside. Wait a minute. What a stop! Good grief! Harsh impact! And at this point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right This is amazing. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move. Come on, toughen up. Could be over. If that doesn't end this match, I don't know what will. In off the tag. Oh, nasty impact. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. And he's heading back in. Oh, boy, he is rolling. end of the purse he needs to make a tag immediately i don't know i don't think he truly understood just how dangerous his opposition was heading into this match of course he understands that now but it might Ooh, what impact that's what he now that's an impressive tag team victory Tag teams always entertain, but the entertainment on that one was off the charts. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. Karen Owen and Owen 
A very impressive victory. Now that's the kind of win you can build some momentum off of. And the crowd here tonight still in awe over that great match. It's now time for our main event. Time for some lopsided numbers, which means the handicap match is next. Byron, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask. How does one prepare for a match where they are so very outnumbered? Well, plenty of time on the treadmill, that's for sure. Because as we all know, the only way to survive here tonight will be to run and run fast.
Here we go as we kick things off in this handicap match. And given the odds here, I suspect this one will be quick and not so painless. Oh, man. And he's a proud guy. That title may not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. For some reason, I found myself reading one of those unreliable so-called sports entertainment news websites earlier today, and they were reporting that major injuries would prevent tonight's match from happening. I wonder how they feel about reporting that story now. Drop down. Ooh. He's starting to stumble here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. I'm going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. Following up on what you were saying earlier, Corey, injuries are something to keep an eye on here. But to say that anybody is competing with major injuries in this match is just false. Maybe we can just say those were alternative facts. That seems to be a thing nowadays anyway. Leg drop! Toss to the outside. So far, so good, guys. That injury doesn't seem to be negatively impacting this superstar one bit. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. His shoulders are down. Michael, I'm not surprised to see the injury be a non-factor here. According to the medical staff, it's absolutely something you can play through, as they say. To even call it an injury might be irresponsible. I mean, depending on your definition of injury, you can say that you're playing hurt edited into every single match of your career. I'm sorry, but it's true. Now, he's on the defensive now. His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. Looking closely here, it doesn't seem to me like this superstar is favoring that injured area, which has to be a good sign. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Piggybacking off Byron's earlier statement, the medical staff is categorizing the injury as minor, so it should come as no surprise that there appear to be no ill effects during this match. Doesn't matter if the injury is minor, major, or anything in between. There was no stopping this superstar from stepping in the ring here tonight, and that's a fact. Beautiful technique. What a stop. Good grief. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Set him up. Oh, what impact! He might have it. Big headshot. Here's his moment, Michael. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Whack. 
Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. There are certain superstars who are synonymous with handicap matches. Of course, there's Andre the Giant, and more recently, Braun Strowman. But I don't think I've ever seen anybody in more handicap matches than Big Show, guys. Hook them. DDT! And the... Absolutely spiked! DDT! I couldn't agree with you more about what you were saying earlier, Michael. It seems like Big Show has been in dozens, if not hundreds, of handicap matches. And believe it or not, let's say he won the... This could... That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. You gotta believe this one's over! Harsh impact! Oh, this is dangerous right here. Incoming! There's been plenty of chatter about this superstar's injury, but to be honest, I don't know why. It's not like we're talking about a broken leg or anything. He's looking at it. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. That should do it, Cole. There's no coming back from a slam of that magnitude. He might have it. He wants no part of the outside. Corey clearly has little sympathy, but the fact of the matter remains that this superstar climbed into the ring battling an injury. And it would be negligent of us to at least not bring that up. And you never know. There's a very real chance that injury gets aggravated here tonight. That's the risk you take when stepping into the ring with an injury, regardless of its severity.
coming off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Somebody's on a mission tonight. Bringing it back into the ring. Oh, oh boy, he is rolling. A knee drop. He wants no part. The outside. Senton connects. Harsh impact. He's lining him up. Here he goes. Oh, what a combo! This one is over. Ooh, right to the face. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? A lot can go wrong in a match like this, guys. In fact, I'll be surprised if we don't see a major injury occur here tonight. The steps connect. I hope we just watch it. Corey's point, handicap matches are an incredibly dangerous atmosphere, and being outmanned in any way, whether it's by one, two, or even more competitors, can result in serious injury. Or, wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh boy, he is rolling. <laughs> is going to be wheelbarrow not the fall that hurts it's the sudden stop at the end oh boy he is rolling you gotta believe this one's over point of the elbow nailed it the fact that this match is even happening right now is a result 
result of. Uh oh, uh oh. A long way up. And a longer way down. Last ride. Look at this again, guys. This match might just be over. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Byron Moore, you clearly applaud the resolve required to step into the ring injured. Some people are calling it a misguided move, especially considering the risk of becoming even more injured has to be even greater at this point. Listen, I don't care how hurt you are. These are WWE superstars, and as long as they're able to tie their boots, they're going to say they're well enough to compete. That's just their fighting spirit. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. competitors away. Hey guys, remember when Shane McMahon competed against the supposed Legion of Doom in a handicap match back in 1999? What a joke that was. He told everybody he'd go up against Hawk and Animal. Instead, what we got were a couple of LOD imposters. I remember that Shane McMahon's handicap match you were mentioning earlier very well, Byron, and those imposters posing as Hawk and Animal the Legion of Doom were none other than Pat Patterson and Gerald Briscoe. Or should I call them the Stooges? No, you shouldn't call them the Stooges. Have a little respect, Cole. We're talking about two Hall of Famers here. Oh, boy, here we go. Powerbomb. That has got to be it. I think that slam caught us all off guard. He's looking at it. I always loved a good handicap match growing up, especially when you'd see Andre the Giant go up again. Here he goes. Powerbomb planted. That should do it. And if you thought the first one was brutal, Technique. Oh boy, he is rolling. Straight right to the mouth. That has got to be it. Wow, that should be the final blow. Andre the Giant really was the king of the handicap matches. Going for broke. Ooh, what a jawbreaker. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Oh, shows no mercy. In that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, shows no mercy. In that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap.
Uh, he's in a bad spot, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he hightails it through the crowd. Well, he should go with him, Byron. When this guy's on, oh, straight right to the mouth. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Oh, look at this. Neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty. This is going to be big, one way or another. This oh, debilitating elbow drop. Back in from the floor. We've seen it countless times in the past. A superstar agrees to compete, despite already being injured, only to aggravate that injury further. Of course, we certainly hope that's not the case here tonight. He's making a statement here with this attack. Here he goes. Nice. Shut it down. Let's take a look at the replay. That's highlight real material right there. A second time. Like you, Michael, I share the same concern that we might see an even more severe injury occur by the time this one's over. Of course, though, I have my fingers crossed that that doesn't happen. Well, isn't that comforting, Saxton? He goes for the cover. He's looking at it. Moonsault! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? He knows he's in trouble. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. He definitely has his work cut out for him here in this handicap match. I can tell you with all certainty that he did not anticipate his opponent mounting any sort of comeback here. And it looks like he was wrong, very wrong. Back now inside the ring. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. He might have it. Oh boy, he is rolling. the pinfall and the victory. That's what makes a handicap match one of the most unpredictable in WWE. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few times. Here Epic. are your winners, Mr. Cyclone Red B H Hardcore Red. And Impressive showing there and route to the win. At the risk of getting ahead of myself, if this guy keeps winning matches like that, we better reserve some room for him in the Hall of Fame. There's no topping that main event, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for spending your evening with us. Have a great night.